I've been reading Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, which is of course a classic, brilliant book. And Vonnegut considered himself to be a humanist, and it has made me reflect on the difference between humanist inclusion and woke inclusion. Vonnegut was by no means a right-wing person. I think he even considered himself to be a socialist, at least for part of his life. He was against racism, you know, he was for the civil rights movement. He was powerfully against wars, even World War II. And it makes me think about humanism. Humanism is inclusive. The idea of humanism is we look at the humanity of people and we try to embrace their humanity, you know, their inner, I guess I'll say spirit, you know, although some humanists are atheists, their inner psyche, whatever word you want to use. But it is a philosophy about compassion, about helping people, about including people of all races and, you know, different ways of expressing themselves. I mean, transgenderism wasn't an issue back in the day, but I think most humanists would be inclusive of, you know, transgender people or whatever. So how is this different from woke? The difference from woke is, is that humanism is a compassionate and loving philosophy, and woke is a very hateful philosophy. Woke is about, you know, hating on the evil straight white man and reparations taking from the white man to, you know, uh, engage in restorative justice and that sort of thing. But the thing is, that doesn't solve our social problems. And yes, we do have social problems. What solves our social problems is inviting people in for dialogue, for, you know, uh, merit-based, you know, multicultural expression, like bands that have white and black members, and it doesn't matter their race. What matters is their ability to play the type of music that is involved. This is very different than Woke, and you, you might see in a show like Star Trek Discovery, where people are ranting and hateful, and it's about making fun of and denigrating and actually bullying straight white men. So, I'm not against, you know, inclusiveness, trying to make things better for all people, but I am against woke. Ironically enough, it is a hate-based philosophy, not that different from the alt-right, in my opinion. Both are forms of race-based, race, -based, race and, and, and gender-based micro-nationalism, and that's really about all I have to say on this subject.